Duffy. Mike Duffy has been uncharacteristically silent since this trial began, today refusing to answer any questions about what he discussed with the Prime Minister around his own eligibility for a Senate seat. We're going to do some work on our residents in PEI. But sources say he did tell Stephen Harper he was concerned about being appointed to Prince Edward Island, where he had not lived for years. Duffy ultimately accepted the appointment and filed living and travel expenses, some of which the Crown says are fraudulent. For the leader of the opposition, it explains why the Prime Minister's office was so invested in Duffy in the first place. How come Stephen Harper went through all of this? How come the $90,000 check? How come the camouflage? How come the cover-up? And the answer is starting to be clearer and clearer. Stephen Harper was protecting Stephen Harper. Last night, the Prime Minister's office refused any comment on Duffy's conversation with the Prime Minister, saying the matter is in front of the courts. Today, a Conservative source who spoke on condition of not being named says the issue of eligibility or a seat in Ontario was never raised with the Prime Minister. But Duffy clearly was worried in the days after being named, rushing back to PEI within days to get a driver's license and choosing to sign his residency declaration days after the appointment. But is the Prime Minister so out of touch that he thought he could bypass the Constitution, appoint Mike Duffy from Prince Edward Island just for the chance to get up and feign indignation that he recently discovered that Mike Duffy has lived in Ottawa for 40 years? The constitutional practice on this has been clear for uh, almost 150 years, Mr. Speaker. But at the same time, while we were fighting very hard in order to bring accountability to the Senate, it was the NDP and the Liberals who were trying to make victims out of these people. Indeed, the Prime Minister's view of what makes someone eligible to be a senator from a specific province is hinted at in court documents from the RCMP. On February 19, 2013, Nigel Wright, the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff and the man that wrote the $90,000 cheque to Duffy to pay back his expenses, emailed the Prime Minister's lawyer and others inside the office as they tried to get Duffy to pay back the money. I will not communicate the PM's view that ownership of property equates to residence, he wrote. In other words, the Prime Minister seemed to believe that owning property in the province where you were appointed was enough. So if Duffy had concerns about his eligibility, the Prime Minister may simply have been of a different view. Rosemary Barton, CBC News, Ottawa.